Now see in this example, there are two bodies, one is of mass 2 kg, another is of mass 3 kg. First one has a speed of 3 meter per second, second one has the speed of 5 meter per second. These two bodies are moving in the same direction, take care, they are moving in the same direction that is why you can write V1 equal to plus 3 and V2 is equal to plus 5. If they are in opposite, you can write minus. Now, you have to find the speed of the center of mass. Already I have told you this formula for the speed of the center of mass is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 that was for n particle system in the theoretical part we have discussed and here m1 plus m2. So, you can write here 2 into 3 plus 3 into 5 divided by 2 plus 3. So, 6 plus 8 that is 14 divided by 5 and here you can write here 2.8 meter per second. So, that is the speed of the center of mass. Now, see here for the position of center of mass, we have already done this formula m1 r1 plus m2 r2 plus mn rn upon m1 plus m2 plus plus mn already we have discussed it. So, we can write here r is equal to m 1 r 1 plus m 2 r 2 plus plus m n r n and this whole thing is included to the it can be replaced by total mass. So, we can write here m where capital M is equal to this much m 1 plus m 2 plus dot dot plus m n. Now, here if you differentiate it you will be getting m dr upon dt is equal to m1 dr1 upon dt plus m2 dr2 upon dt mn drn upon dt. Now, here we can write mv is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 plus plus m n v n. Similarly, if you differentiate it, you can write here m a is equal to m 1 a 1 plus m 2 a 2 plus plus m n a n. Now, this is here we can take the total force acting on the each particles of the system and this can be given here the total force on the center of mass. So, here we can write F external is equal to this is total force external force if it is accelerating here and that can be here equal to this this point. So, here when the center of mass is here and we apply the force F it has got the acceleration A. So, F external can be written here simply we can write here m into a. So, as we have done this formula m a is equal to that is f external is equal to here f 1 plus f 2 plus plus f n. It means external force acting on the body is the sum of these forces f 1 is the total force acting on the particle 1, F 2 is the total force acting on the particle 2, F n is the total force acting on the nth particle. So, F external can be written like this is here. So, see here F 1 is the total force or the vector sum of all the forces acting on the particle 1, but take care, take care here there are also internal forces internal forces do not contribute to the motion of the center of mass because they are cancelled out like the first particle applies the force on the second one, second applies on the first one. So, all these internal forces they cancelled out and they, are, will, they will not contribute to the motion of the center of mass. So, F 1 is considered as external force on the particle 1 and F 2 is considered external force on the particle 2. So, for the center of mass we can write here F external is equal to m into a. So, the center of mass is actually a point it is uh, assumed that where entire mass of the body is uh, supposed to be concentrated 